of Yisrael. They say greetings to the family of Yisrael. We are truly thankful for all of you that have come and listened to the message of Yah, the unexputable true message of Yah is given here. There are so many different things out there that would confuse our people with their teaching and their ideologies on different things. What makes me think that I'm such a dogmatic know-it-all? I'm not. But I do tell you this truth, that Yah speaks to us and allows us to hear the truth of his word. You, if you want to know the truth of Yah's word, you have to go all the way back to the beginning. I've had preachers that say, I've seen on, you, on YouTube, they have said, the white man did not write the Bible. Or they said the European did not write the Bible. Yes, they did. They changed up the this original scripture. The original scriptures was written in Ebert, which you call what they call Hebrew today, and the the New Testament uh, teaching was written up in Aramaic, not Greek. It was not written up in Greek. Uh, if you get a Paleo book, you will see this teaching in the Paleo books, what they call the, the King James Bible or the New Version Bible, or they'll use something to that effect. All right, before we go on any further, let us go into prayer. Most gracious and eternal of my Yahweh or Elohim, we thank you for this Sabbath day that you have given unto us. A day, almighty Yah, you commanded us to keep holy and righteous in your sight, that we are not to deviate from the Sabbath. And you also said, pray that your flight be not on the Sabbath or on the in the winter. But Yah, people dispute the fact that the Sabbath was done away with. But Yahshua said not one jot or one tittle uh, from the Torah shall pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away first. And heaven and earth is not going to pass away. Yah created the heavens and he created the earth. And we're going to reign on the earth for eternity. So it's never going to be done away with. Almighty oh, Yah, we pray that you have touched the hearts and the minds of the people, that they may hear the teachings of Yah's word, and Yah, that they may conform their lies and their and their thoughts uh, according to the Torah of Yah before it is too late. All that is happening around us, people do not understand that these things are the judgments of Yah. And because they're not true believers, Yah said in his word, these signs are for them that believe it, not to them that believe it not. A believer would do what the scripture teaches him to do or tell him to do. First of all, to keep the Sabbath and to be baptized in the name of Yahshua, Hamashiach, for the remission of their sins. They must repent and be baptized. But Yah, they choose to be baptized in a made up name and go on from there and think, teaching others that they have salvation in that J-S-U-S name, which is no name unto Yah. We ask you, Father Yah, to continue to bless you your word, and all that we do in your name, so others may be added unto the list to make it into the kingdom of Yah. But we are concerned about ourselves as well. Help us, Yah, that we may make it in for all of eternity in the kingdom of Yah. 
We ask you in Yahshua HaMashiach's name, and we'll always give praise and honor unto you. In Yahweh's name, we say, Todaya, Todaya, Todaya. I want to apologize. My wife, umpteen times, had told me the last couple of weeks that, or last week, that I was, my voice had raised like I was angry. And I'm not angry over the word. Um, I, 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 I get troubled over people that don't hear the truth. You know, it's almost like none of you are my children. What I'm saying is that it's like a child. When you teach a child or try to teach a child to do something in the right way, you raise your voice in a way that they may hear you. But I'm not treating you like that. So if I raise my voice, if I got a little loud, I want to apologize to each and every one of you. I ask you to help pray for me. It is something I must have uh, picked up in the military as being a, a high ranking military man. I I'm used to doing that when you had 40 some, 44 men working for you. You at times had to lift your voice up so they know you're not playing with them. But I do apologize. That's not my intent. My intent is to give the true word of Yah to all the people so that they will know what. See, Yah can give me the word, but it's up to me how I deliver that word. If I'm going to get loud and boastful, then that's the way it's going to come out. Y'all didn't say that. I did that. Mm -hmm. All right? So that's why I want to apologize to everyone. I don't want you to go away said, I, thinking, I can't listen to this man no longer. He's always loud and he's always boastful and so forth. That's not my intention. I, I thank my wife for letting me know this because at times I know I do get that way and because I get excited over the word of God. Even in normal conversations sometimes when we're talking about Yah, I get more loud, I get excited over the word. It ain't nothing like the word of Yah. But I don't want to run anyone away from the word of Yah. So please forgive me. And I'll try my best to remember this so that I don't be this way all the time or hopefully never again. I need prayer. I need Yah's help to help me. All right. Um, <clears throat> not just being in the military, I was a police officer in two states. So, you know, as a cop, you know, they're bad news people anyhow. So anyhow, on that note, let us go into the mitzvah of Yah. That is the commandment of Yah. It says here in, in Shema, which is the book of Exodus, if y'all using King James Version, in the book of Shema. See, our books have changed the names back to the original name. See, the books of King James are not the original writings uh, that the Israelites uh, was teaching about. Uh, a lot of things was changed by the Europeans and they changed the names of the characters they changed the name of the father. They changed the name of the son. And if you call on J-S-U-S, the Christos, he's not going to answer you because that's not his name. If your name is Mary and I call you Michelle or whatever, 
you're not going to know it's you that I'm calling for because I changed your name. So don't, don't let this teaching of the names being changed alter you. Let us go back to the beginning when Yeshua HaMashiach walked this earth, when the prophets of old walked this earth, they were called by certain names. The original Eber name. Notice I said Eber. The English word for Eber. I don't believe that. They see man has a tendency to make up stuff as they go. You understand? In your English book, your King James uh, demon book, you'll see the name Hebrew. You'll see the name synagogue. The only time you see the word synagogue in our book is because y'all is informing you that these, these phony Jews who stole our identity are the synagogue of Satan. Satan is a synagogue. So when you hear them talking about their synagogue, they are based on based on the the trouble of being uh, uh, witnesses and saints of Satan. For well, Yah said they are. They say they are Yehudas, but are not. But they are the synagogue of Satan. That's the only time in our in our evil scripture book that you see the word synagogue. It, uh, all you really see is tabernacle or assembly in our books. All right. On that note, let us go into the misvah, the commandment. And Elohim spoke all these words saying, I am Yah, your Elohim who brought you out of the land of Mitzvah out of the house of slavery. Mitzvah again, is supposed to be, as they changed it, to Egypt. Mm -hmm. You have no other mighty ones against my face. You do not make for yourself a carved image or any likeness of that which is in the heavens above or which is in the earth beneath or which is in the waters under the earth. You do not bow down to them nor serve them. For I, Yah, your Elohim, am a jealous ill, E-L. Listen, the crookedness of the fathers, all the fathers, on the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing kindness to thousands, to those who love me, or a hoover of me, and guard my mitzvah or commandments. You do not bring the name of Yah, your Elohim, to naught. For Yah does not leave the one unpunished who brings his name to naught. See, if you don't use the name of Yah, you bring his name to naught. When you call him G-O-D and L-O-R-D, and you call Jesus Christos, when he said, I come in my Abbas name, I come in my father's name, and you call him J-S-U-S. -S. That's not the name of the father nor the name of the son. You bring in his name to naught. And he said, I will punish you for that. Remember the Sabbath day to set it apart. Six days you labor and shall do all your work. But the seventh day, the seventh day is a Sabbath of Yah, not a, my Sabbath. I honor that we honor the Sabbath, for it is a Sabbath of Yah. You tell people that it's been done away with, you're telling people don't believe in Yah. Mm -hmm. The Sabbath of Yah, your Elohim. You do not do any work, you nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle, 
knowing the stranger who is within your gates. For in six days, Yah made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore, Yah barak or blessed the Sabbath day and set that day apart from all of the days. Now, some of you people that say that Yahshua only spoke of six commands. He said, respect your father and your mother so that your days are prolonged upon the soil which Yah your Elohim is giving you. You do not murder. You do not commit adultery. You do not steal. You do not bear false witness against your neighbor. You do not covet your neighbor's house. You do not cover your neighbor's wife, nor his male servant, nor his female servant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor whatever belongs to your neighbor. It's a mouthful. These six commands that are listed on, on, this, uh, on this page are the moral commandments that Yahshua was asking the man about in Matikia or Matthews. He was asking him about that because these are the commandments that their, that their parents should have taught them while they were children and that they are supposed to keep no matter what. The other commandments, the other five commandments, or uh, 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 four commandments, are the commandments of, of, of spiritual commandments unto man, whom the priest teaches the people that they are supposed to keep. You understand? That's why they accused Yahshua and said, your top ones are plucking corn from the stalks on the Sabbath day. They told Yahshua, you heal a man on the Sabbath day. Yahshua said, my top ones were hungry. They're not working. They just picked a corn from the stalk and ate it. They didn't cook it. And Father and him healing on the Sabbath day, he was doing his father's business. You understand? He's not out there plowing land with an ox. He's not going and making doing carpentry work or anything like that. See, people don't understand. You need a man to teach you these things so that you can understand it better. That's all. You need to get with the right man of Yah so that you can understand the teachings of the Torah much better than you have already. I want to show this to you. We're doing it in the beginning of the, of the video. This is a card that we use. Up at the top, it says, Truth in Yahweh at gmail.com. That is my email address, truthinyahweh at gmail.com. If you want to check out the video, you go to Yahweh's Tabernacle Assembly dot life. I'm telling you, my friend, choose life than death. See, these preachers are teaching people false teaching. Everywhere, including Philadelphia, Delaware, everywhere. They teaching them false teaching. If they're not teaching about Yah and, and the commandments of Yah, they're teaching false teaching. If you have not celebrated the feast days of Yah, which is commanded by Yah that every man, three times a year, shall all men come together on the feast day. Again, you need a preacher of Yah who knows these things so he can teach you. The other four, uh, four commandments, or no, the other, uh, yeah, four commandments, you can do at home. 
You don't have to gather together. But Yah commanded everyone to come together. See, why did he say man? Because the man is the head of the house. He brings his wife and children with them to celebrate the feast of Yah. If you have never celebrated the feast of Yah, you're in violation of the disobeying the commandments of Yah, my friend. And these preachers won't think nothing about it to tell you, oh, you ain't got to do that anymore. But you're going to find out. But when you find out, it's going to be too late, my friend. It's going to be too late. Yahweh Tabernacle Assembly dot life. If you want to see the video, when you put that in your, your tablet, computer, or phone, scroll all the way down, you'll see a whole lot of Hebrew writings as the, first, as the main page. Go all the way down, you see the little YouTube symbol. You hit on that, all the all the messages will come up. And the, and the, uh, the last message will be, the uh, this message will be the first one. All right? You can, you can please contact us at our website or email address. You can go to the website. <laughs> when you scroll down, there's a box that you can comment box that you can fill in as well if you want to get in contact with us. And we'll see that, and we can contact you back if you need a return email address or whatever. You can contact us at our website. Or you can email me at truthinyahweh at gmail.com as also. Okay. All right. I just wanted to bring that to your attention before we go on any further. Um, we were talking about the Torah and the Nisvah of Yah. I have a little uh, card here that I wrote up some time ago. It says, the hypocrisy of an Aramaic or, uh, origin for the New Testament. See, everybody is going around saying, it's not our people. They only receive what they got from the Caucasian, the Europeans. <clears throat> See, everything we have learned in this country came from the slave master. It was passed on from generation to generation. You understand? The question that we have on this message today is, who are you? And who stole your identity? Did you know your identity was stolen? Who stole your identity? They telling you, you are one thing, but Yah said you are something else. We are in the scripture, our, my people. We are in the scripture book. Not no other race of people. And what I mean by that, I'm talking about Pan-African people. The white man, uh, the Germans, the Russians, and all of them, they're not in the scriptures per se. They're only listed by what family they came out from, the sons of Noah. We came out from the son of Shem. And of course, the African nation came out from the son of Ham. And the European nation comes out from the son of Yathat. Uh, what they call it in English, Yathat. Jacob, Jathat. They call him Jathat. Jathat. That's what they call me. And see, just like the Europeans do, they change the names up because if you have not understood this, they have a hard time of pronouncing the names of other people from other lands. So they change your name. Just like they changed the names of the Indian, they changed our name when we came over here, our ancestors, 
in slavery. They changed up the names of the characters of the Bible, of the book. They changed up everything because they want to make themselves, uh, they want to give the book their identity. I even heard a white preacher said, if black people, brown people, if they if they do make it in to the kingdom of heaven, that G-O-D will change them and make them white. So that tells me the only way you can make it in is you are white. Because they don't want to bow down. And you know what? They're going to. When they see the true Messiah, the Messiah, they're going to say, oh, my goodness, every man shall see him. That's a Negro. He can't be. That's, that's a lie. That's false. You can go on YouTube and see all the movies about the wind and Goliath. And every character in all the movies are white. Moshe is white. Everybody's white. All 12 guys of Israel are white. They even changed the name of Yaakov, which y'all call Joe Jacob, and you give him the name Israel. Israel is an English name. It's not a Hebrew name. Yah said Yaakov. In the original scripture, his name was Yaakov. Yah, the angel told him when he was rushing, wrestling with the angel, no longer shall your name be Yaakov, but it shall be Yisrael. Yisrael. So my friend, who are you? Who are you? I tell you who you are. You're not an African-American. You're not an African. You, pe our people came out of Africa because we, our people went into Africa to hide from the, from the uh, uh, Romans. They hid from the Romans because the Romans were looking to enslave them and they were looking to kill them. And it's because y'all allowed it to be that way because our ancestors was disobedient unto y'all like people are today. That's why he said only a remnant of Israel will be delivered. There's not very many people going to make it into the, the kingdom of y'all because you're constantly, man, it's constantly, men and women are constantly being disobedient Unto Yah. My friend, I'm trying to help people. I want to see more of my people make it in that their names will be written in the book of life to reign with Yahshua for all of eternity. According to this writing, the hypocrisy of an Arabic origin original for the New Testament holds that the original text, the original text of the New Testament was not written in Greek as held by the majority of scholars, but in the Aramaic language, which he, which was the language uh, of course, they got J-S-U-S here, which is the language of Yahshua and the emissary or the apostle. We call them in the original scripture, they're called emissaries. You understand? The original language of the of the of the New Testament was not written in Greek. But you got a lot of preachers who believe that the New Testament the Old Testament was written in Hebrew. The New Testament was written in Greek. No, it wasn't. 
it was translated for them in Greek for the Grecians to understand the word of Yah, just like the books were translated into the Galo, which is the Filipino language, so they can understand what the scripture is saying. Now, the books that you got are translated not from Aramaic or not even from Eber. It was retranslated into their own English language, and it reads muffled. They put their own spin on it. So it is a, your King James Bible is a European Bible. Even G, King James himself did not approve that Bible. The 1611 Bible that which came out didn't have the name of J-S-U-S in it. I got proof. It didn't have the name. It was I-E-S-S-U-S, I-E-S-O-S, something like that. It began with an I and to a, a priest in Rome was playing with the eye and put a hook in the eye and he called it a J. The English language did not even have a J prior to 1565. <laughs> but you want to say his name is J-E-S-U-S. What was he called? A thousand years back. Now you don't even have to go a thousand years. You can go five hundred or six hundred years back. What was he called then? The King James sixteen eleven didn't have a J until later. Now you talking about sixteen eleven? You understand? So you got a whole lot of scams that are going on because the white man wants to keep every character over there, Lily White, so that we can bow down to the supreme being of the whiteness because we're hated for our skin color. And they're gonna find out that Yahshua and the top ones were that look like me. You'll find that out. Yahshua described himself perfectly. It's just that you people don't want to accept the truth. And you allow the white man to keep teaching you from your, his King James Bible, his truth as he sees it, and you run with it. Hallelujah, Yahweh. All right, give me a scripture. Oh. We're gonna soon go into the book of Deuteronomy, which is the book of Deuteronomy. Twenty eight and fifteen. Just trying to get this one here. Uh, who are you? And who stole your identity? Deuteronomy is going to help you to understand that your your identity was stolen. You were made to believe that you are an African American. You're not an African American. In fact, all, all everybody in the four corners of the earth, not, not all tribes, there's only one tribe that went into captivity. They were called Yehudites. From the son of Yaakov, Yehuda was the fourth son of Yaakov. He was considered a baby lion. He was the fourth son of Yaakov, which his name was changed to Yisrael with a Y, not I. 
<clears throat> also, too, you are Israelites from the tribe of Yehuda. That's who you are. Now, I know that those ignorant uh, uh, Israelites will tell you because they use the term G-O-D-L-O-R-D too. They have a lot to learn. But they try to tell you that the Puerto Ricans, the Mexicans, the Indians, everybody come from these different tribes. I got news for them, for you. There was no other tribe that went into captivity. What happened with those people was unfortunate that it happened. God never sent them into captivity. They went into captivity because of who they are, mm. not because they're of any tribe. That tribe chart that they, that they use is a bunch of garbage. They try to say that black people came from from over there in, in Africa to America. Well, you know what? That is true. The whole world, the whole world, my friend, was controlled by black people. Europeans. Oh, the, okay. That's uh, Gamal, Gamal. Abdel Nasser. I don't see his whole president. name. Yes. I want to tell you the whole world was black. When yet when uh, uh, uh Yathan, Yathan, when he was uh in the European nations as we know him today, he was a black man, had a black wife and had children. Guess what? They weren't white, they were black. And his children, 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 all the way up. The black man was, uh, the, the white man was not created by Yah. It wasn't. He was, the black man was cursed. Called the Hazel. He was cursed by Yah. The prophet Elisha said, let this affliction that was upon Naaman be upon you and your seed forever. And it said he went out a leper white as snow. Is leprosy a disease? Yes. Mm -hmm. If you go to the priest, the scripture teaches that if you got the spots of leprosy, you were unclean. But if you was made white from the head to your feet. You were clean. You look like an albino. See, they didn't know the term albino. That's something that came up later in life. They know that a man who was turned from black to white was an albino. So the white man in turn is a leopard in likeness, but all over as white as snow. You understand? They, they come from the seed of Gehazi. Mm -hmm. So when Yaphat was in York, they know that Gehazi mm -hmm. ventured out to in the different places of York and spewed his seed. Now notice what it said. His seed would be white. That means everybody, his children, 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 would mate with, they had children that was white. Mm -hmm. Now the Hebrew, is, uh, the Israelites teach you that Esau was white. No, he wasn't. He was not white. Adam was called red. Mm -hmm. Red meant the dirt of the ground. Every man comes from the dirt of the ground, but the white man comes from the man called Gehazi. His seed was cursed as well as him. And that's where the white man came from. You understand? They don't want you to teach this teaching 
because it belittles them to think that they are not the original race of people. But all races come from Adam, the blood of Adam. The blood of Adam is in every race, mankind. You understand how to get this back on here? Here, give me the air. Hallelujah. See, the place in Israel today that they call Israel, which is an English name, and the word Jerusalem, how people who speak Hebrew or Hebrew use a name that is the, the letter of the alphabet is not even in the alphabet. See this man, this man here. He was the second president. He was the second president. It was Gamal. Gamal. Abdel. Abdel. Nazareth. Nazareth. In 1956. In 1956. He was the president of uh, what you call Egypt today, we still call it by the old name, Mislaram. And I told this to a doctor in the VA hospital in Wilmington. He said, you said it right. It was called Mislaram. And he died in 1970. And he died, the second president died in 1970. Mm -hmm. However, he made a statement. He said, told the Jews over there, you went away black, but now you come back white. Mm -hmm. How's that? And right after he said that, several weeks later, in, in 1970 what? In 1970, he died. 1970, he died. I, I was told he was assassinated for making that statement about those white Jews. Because they want to hold on to our identity as long as they can. They don't care about being wicked. They don't care at all about what it takes for them to hold on. They own slaves in this country. He was born in 1918 in Bacos. He was born in 1918 where? In Bacos. In Bacos. Egypt. Egypt. Mm -hmm. And he died in, uh, it was September 28th. September. He died in September 28th, 1970 in Cairo. Mm -hmm. Cairo. His he was, name was Gamil Abdel Nazar Hussam. Oh, whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he had a long name. So anyhow, he was the second elected See, you know, in Egypt or Mesoteram, they had kings. And then when they got uh, into the democratic uh, ways of looking at things, they, they had president election. And he was the number two president of Mesoteram. Mm -hmm. Prime Minister, yeah, president. <clears throat> Let me go one scripture before we go into our, our devil read. I want to go into the book of Matikia, chapter 5. Which is Matthew, chapter 5. And we go on to verse number 17 to 19. Let's see. I bring this up to you because. The question was, why did Yahshua mention only those last commandments? Because they say, the ignorant preachers are saying, because the first commandments that was written in the Mitzvah was done away with. You can't find it done away with. Let's see what Yahshua said. <coughs> Matthews mm -hmm. chapter 5 at verse 17. Okay. Do not think that I came to destroy the Torah. Yahshua mm -hmm. said, do not think that I came to destroy the Torah. The Torah is the same as the law. Or the prophets. The prophets of old. He said, don't think that I've come to destroy the Torah or the prophets. 
What else he said? I did not come to destroy, but to complete. He reiterates. He said, I did not come to destroy, but to complete. What does complete mean? To do. He came to do what the prophets and the Torah taught him to do from his father. Verse uh, 18. At verse 18, for truly, for truly, I say to you, I say to you, so the heaven and the earth pass This is Yahshua away. talking. Till the heaven and the earth pass away. One jot. One jot. Or one tittle. Or one tittle. Shall by no means. For by no means. Pass from the Torah. Pass from the Torah. Done. To all be done. Not one jot or one tittle will pass. In other words, it wasn't done away with. The Torah, the word of Yah, will last forever. To all be done. All right, uh, 19. Whoever. Whoever then breaks, whoever then breaks one of the least of these commands, just one of these commands, and teaches men so. And the preachers are going around teaching men to not to keep the Sabbath. He said, if one of the least of these commands and teach men so. Shall be called least shall, in the rain. Shall be called least in the rain of the heavens. Of the heavens. But whoever. But whoever does and teaches them. But whoever does and teaches them. He shall be called. He shall be called great. Great in the rains of the heavens. In the rains of the heavens, you'll not make it into Jerusalem. If you teach men that they're not to keep the Sabbath, you go against Yah's word. You're teaching men to be disobedient unto Yah's word. You understand, my friend? Don't let these half wit preachers tell you that you you that the the, the law and the and the and the Sabbath was done away with. That's a lie. That lie comes from Satan, a lie. You understand, my friend. Go with me one more scripture uh, for right now in the book of Lucas. I'm going to show you. Now, let's see what Luke 16 says on that matter. See, I'm taking you to here because and we're gonna we're gonna talk about your identity, who stole your identity, and where you come from. See, most of our people don't know where they come from. They settle with the with the notion that they are African Americans, and you're not. You're not an African American. Mm -hmm. uh, chapter sixteen and verse number seventeen. What does it say? Lucas chapter sixteen, at verse. 17. All right. And it is easier for the heavens and the earth to pass away. No, 16 and 17. Chapter 16 at verse 17. Verse 17, yeah. And it is easier for the heavens and the earth to pass away than for one tittle of the Torah to fall. My goodness, mine don't say that. You said chapter 16 at verse 17. Yeah, it says, and Yah and Yahshua answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Shimeon, Bar Jonah. That's what the scripture says. You said, Lucas, you're still in Matiki Yahoo. Oh, I sure am. No wonder. I thought that was Lucas. Don't say something wrong with my scripture book. It's a misprint. All right, read that again. Lucas 
chapter 16 at verse 17. Okay. And it is easier for the heavens and the earth to pass away. It is easier for the heavens and the earth to pass away. Then for one tittle. Then for one tittle. That's what Luke said. Luke of said. the Torah to fall. One tittle from the Torah to fall. It is easier for the heaven and earth to pass away. And it's not going to pass away. Because we're going to reign for eternity. Not in heavens as you false preachers teach. But we're going to be in Jerusalem. And there will be men and women there to serve us as the chosen people of Yah because of their wickedness. We were talking about that this morning. It's because they did something right in the sight of Yah. It doesn't matter. They made it in even as servants. They've made it in. Even as servants. Now they ain't got to worry about being in the lake of fire. You understand? All right, let's go to Deborah Reed. Okay. You know, there was a scripture that was in the book of Timothy's, um, first Timothy's in the first chapter. And it said the verse that said they were wishing to be teachers of Torah understanding neither what they say nor concerning concerning what they strongly affirm. Okay. Read that again. In the book of Deborah, it said that they were wishing to be teachers. In the book of Deborah, chapter one. Chapter one, at verse seven. Okay. And it said they were wishing to be <clears throat> teachers of the Torah. They were wishing to be teachers of the Torah. Understanding neither Understanding neither what they say, uh, not understanding neither of what they said, nor concerning, nor concerning what they strongly affirmed, what they strongly affirm or believe. And that was one that uh, I had thought about when you were saying they were teaching people falsely, if not to keep the yeah. side. That was Deborah chapter one, verse what? Um, the one that you did, no, we were in First Timothy's. The one you just read. First Timothy's chapter one, I said. <clears throat> okay, First Timothy chapter one and verse seven. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Write that down in your notes so you can go back over it. See, these false preachers are desiring to teach truth, but they have not got there yet. You understand, they don't acknowledge Yah, and we read it in the Mitzvah or the commandments of Yah. You do not bring the name of Yah, your Elohim, to naught. And in that note alone, they'll say, well, it doesn't matter in the name. I don't speak Hebrew. Yes, you do. When you say Yah, you spoke in Hebrew. When you say Yahshua, you spoke in Hebrew. When you go to Germany and they ask you what your name is, you tell them you spoke to a German your name. So don't give me that excuse. These people go around and say Allah. Go around and say Yahshua. What's that other one? Uh, Hey Zeus, I spoke in three different languages. That's blasphemy. You spoke it in three different languages, but you actually spoke all three in the same language. You just spoke three different names. You just spoke three different names. That's all you did. That's why the book is transliterated from the Hebrew language, which is in the archives in Yerushalayim, where it all began, into the English so that English-speaking people can understand what is being said. Our language was taken from us. Our culture was taken from us. 
our heritage was taken from us. It was taken the moment that our people came on the shores of America, <clears throat> Great Britain, and, and the four corners of the earth. But he let see, said, he, he said to this, take away everything from them and teach them our way. The Pope even said that. In Jerusalem, take away the Torah and everything and teach them, give them our book and teach them our way. That's what they want to do with people like us that look like us. They don't want us to have authority. They don't want us to have prestige. They don't want us to have power. That's why they call themselves the chosen people. That's why the Jews <laughs> perpetrate a lie and call themselves the chosen people. No, you're not. You're the synagogue of Satan. That's what y'all said. That ain't what I said. I reiterated what he said. All right, read chapter 28 and verse number 15. Devarim, Deuteronomy, chapter 28, mm -hmm. at verse 15. All right. And it shall be. And it shall be. If you do not obey the voice <clears throat> of God, your Elohim. Last week, we read this scripture. We're going back over some of the ones so that you can understand. And, uh, and it shall be, if you do not obey the voice of Yah. <laughs> What's going to happen? Your Elohim. To guard. To guard. To do all his commands. At, to guard and do all his commands. And his laws. And his laws. Notice this plural with S. His laws. Which I command you today. Which y'all saying, I command you today. That all these curses that all these curses shall come upon you shall come upon you and overtake you and overtake you. These curses are gonna come upon you and overtake you. Can I ask you? Something? Yes. So so what you're about to teach us right now is that if we do not obey the voice of Yah, then these curses shall overtake us. If you don't obey the voice of Yah and 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 to guard his his commandments and his laws, and these, the, curses, these curses will overtake. will overtake you. So when we think about this, could we rightfully say that this will pinpoint these are the things that are happening to the chosen people? This is what happened to the people of the book? Yes. And uh, also, too, I'm, I'm feeling that you're getting to the corona as well. Not these, these, the corona is a, is a curse that Yah has brought upon the world. Now, here in America, and they're not saying this to the other nations, the four corners of the world, that Black people are dying from it, it's only here. But we understand why our people are more acceptable to diseases and curses, because that's where it started from. It started in Yerushalayim with the chosen people of Yah. And Yah, this book is not talking to the white people or any other nationality. It's talking to the Israelite people. The chosen people of Yah that look like me, that live in the four corners of the world. That's what Yah said. If you do not, my brothers and sisters, if you do not obey the voice of Yah, where's the voice of Yah? When the man of Yah speaks to you, it is the voice of Yah. To, to hear the to obey the voice of Yah, your Elohim, to guard, to do all his commands 
and his laws, these curses will overtake you. They will overtake you. Yeah. So can I raise my voice? I mean, raise my scripture book, not as that other pastor used to say, take your Bible in your hand. This is my Bible. Can I actually raise my Torah in my hand and say, this is my Torah, my history book to teach you <clears throat> who I am and where I originally came You can from. take your book and say, this is the law of Yah. This is the law of Yah. If I tell you everything that is written in this book from the from the Hebrew language to the English. This is the law of Yah. The whole book is the law of Yah. Some was written in Hebrew and some was written in Aramaic. Remember Yahshua when he was on the tree, not in St. Cross, on the tree, he spoke in Aramaic. And the Romans thought he was called, they were, he was called on all Elisha. But because they didn't understand what he was saying. And they put the sign above his head. This is your book. Now that crap that, what's the name of that preacher? I think it was Olsen. Olsen, yeah, that philosopher. He goes on and tells people, this is my book. I do what it said. No, you don't. You're lying. And you're teaching your people to lie. Well, let's go on this so, so one minute after an hour. All right. Some of the curses. Let's briefly read some of the curses. Curses are you in the city. Cursed are you in the city. Curses are you in the field. Cursed are you in the field. Cursed is your basket. Cursed is your basket. And your kneading bowl. And your kneading bowl. Curse is the fruit of your body. Curse is the fruit of your body. And the fruit of your land. And the fruit of your land. The increase of your cattle. The increase of your cattle. And the offspring of your flock. And the offspring of your flock. Yep. I said these curses, are right? Curse are you when you come in. Curse are you when you come in. Curse are you when you go out. Curse are you when you go out. Yah sends on you. Yah sends on you. The curse. The curse. The confusion. The confusion. And the rebuke. And the rebuke. And all that you set your hand. To all do, that you set your hand to do. Until you are destroyed. Until you are destroyed. Until you perish quickly. Until you perish quickly. Because of the evil. Because of the evil of your doing, of your doing of which you have forsaken which you me. have forsaken me, said Yah. At verse 24, okay, 20, 21. Okay. Yah makes the plague. Yah makes the plague cling to you. Cling to you until he has consumed you. Until he uh until he has consumed you from the land which you are going to possess. From the land which you are going to possess. Now we know all these curses. Um, let us drop down to uh, read twenty-two, right quick. Yah smite you. Yah smite you with wasting diseases. Yah smite you with wasting diseases and with inflammation and with inflammation and with burning and with burning and with extreme heat and with extreme heat. You know. With rheumatoid arthritis, all kind of arthritis, you feel your arms and your legs and your hands, it feels hot. These are the curses. Whether you write with your man or not, these are going to still come upon you because at one time you were disobedient unto Yah, and he must punish you for it. <clears throat> and with the sword. And with the sword. With blight and with the blight and with mildew and with mildew, and they shall pursue you and they shall pursue you until you perish. Until you perish, and your heavens that's 23. Okay, and your heaven, which are over your head, so over your head, shall be bronze, shall be bronze, and the earth, and the earth, which is under you, which is iron. which is under you, iron. All right, let us. 
Let us jump down to 25. Yah causes you. Yah causes you to be defeated. To be defeated before your enemies. Before your enemies. You go out one way. You go out one way against them. Against them. Flee seven ways. And flee seven ways before them. Before them. You know what they're talking about? They are going to destroy you. Our people are being murdered, beaten. Whatever. We just read this book yesterday. We, well, we've been reading it for several weeks. I advise anyone, all of you, to get this book. It tells you what our people and the people in Africa went through because this is what they call the Black Holocaust. You understand? From 1890 to 1945. Let me share, tell you something, my friend. There were black people who lived in Germany who Hitler hated. He hated the black people above the Jews. They put a star, a yellow star on the Jews to identify them because they were white. They put a triangle, a, what was that? A uh, 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 pink triangle on the on the way as for homosexuals because he hated homosexuals and the blacks but when it came to the blacks they had their own self-identification of this color of the skin they hung them they beat them they terrorized them they they murdered them for years mm -hmm. in Africa and in Germany mm -hmm. you understand Germany. When they were captured, the, the blacks that was captured put them in their in their uh, the prison. They would separate the blacks from the whites. Mm -hmm. The whites were more regarded as humans than the blacks. Why was this happening to our people? Because our ancestors were disobedient unto Yah, just like they are today. These same diseases are going to continue to be upon our people until they get right. The husband, the wife, the children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, all of them. Remember that in the in the Mishra, he said, I'm going to visit. The children that upon the fathers who who were disobedient unto Yah. Um, the crookedness of the fathers upon the children for the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. You hate Yah when you don't obey his commandment. Yeah. You hate Yah when you don't keep the law of Yah. Mm. I don't care what the preachers are teaching you. I don't care what you what is going around going on. They love having a, a good old time. I watch people like Gino Jennings, they've got out in the spirit talking about oh, the Holy Ghost. Oh, the Holy Ghost. I ain't seen none yet. Holy Ghost, Ghost is an apparition. And they all worship the same way. He get this teaching and this ideology from Seymour Johnson out of Philadelphia. The same way and the same thing that Seymour Johnson, which he claims to be the ultimate apostle, and there had never been an apostle like him. He's an arrogant. He gets his teaching from Seymour Johnson. You understand? You better be careful with men like that. He's building up churches all over the world. But see, the devil is helping him. Excuse me. The devil is helping him. You understand? I'm getting excited. 
The devil is helping him to build these churches. Why? I can tell you why, my friend. Because he is he is the, the, the messenger of the devil to bring not just him, all them Christian preachers that do not accept Yah. They are messengers of the devil to bring all these people and prepare them for the lake of fire. And you think you get in salvation. No, you're not. The blind is leading the blind. Yahshua said that. And they all fall into the ditch. What ditch? The lake of fire. They all going to fall in. Help me to help you to understand the truth of your word, of Yah's word on that. They all fall in this. What's the next verse? Okay, okay. let's. let's Stop. You went to 25, you said. Okay. Oh, I went to 25. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let us. Okay, read 27. Y'all shall smite you with the boils of Mitzrayim. Y'all shall spike you with the boils of Mithraim or with, Egypt. With tumors. With tumors. With the scabs. With the scabs. With the itch. With the itch. From which you are unable to be healed. Uh, uh, from which you are unable to be healed. All right. Let us go down. Let us go down to verse 30. Now, I want you, as we read, I want you to read the whole chapter of 28. You read that on your own. You can see what we're talking about. Who are you? Who are you really? You tell me from this teaching who, you, who, the, who the scriptures is talking about. All right, verse 30 says what? You become engaged to a wife. Yah is talking to a people. You become engaged to a wife. But another man does lie with her. But another man lies with her. You build a house. You build a house. You, but do not dwell in it. But you do not dwell in the house that you built. You plant a vineyard. You plant the vineyard. But do not use its fruit. You can't eat its fruit. All right. Your ox is slaughtered. Your ox, your ox is slaughtered before your eyes. You do not eat of it. You do not eat of it. Your donkey is violently taken from before you. Your donkey is violently taken from and you. It is not given back to and you. it is not given back to you. Your sheep are given to your enemies. Your sheep are given to your enemies. No one to save you. And for with no one to save them. Listen to the description that Yah brings forth. Who are these people? Where are they at? Remember, the book is talking to the Israelites. He's not talking to the white man. He's not talking to no other nationality. He's talking to the Israelites because they were disobedient unto Yah. Specifically, he's talking to the Yehudites, since that was the only tribe that went into captivity. All right. Your sons and your daughters are given to another people. Now, what happened to slavery? The mama has children, and then he gets a buck to lay with your wife and bring forth children, and they trade those children all to the to another plantation. Mm -hmm. Your sons and daughters are given to another people. Ooh, people, yes. Hallelujah, Yahweh. And your eyes look and fail. And you, the mother's eyes and the daddy's eyes look and fail. For them. For them. All day long. All day long. In your hand. And your hand. Powerless. Powerless. You have no power to rescue your children. Why? Because you are a slave. 
A people whom you a, have not known. It's a people whom you have not known. Eat the fruit of your land. Eat the fruit of your land. And all your labor. And all your labors. You shall be only oppressed. You shall be only oppressed. And crushed. And crushed. All the days. All the days. We know how it was. Even after you were free from slavery, our people were free. They weren't free. The white man did whatever he wanted. They honed you. They shot you. They dragged you. They burned you. They steal your crops. You working on, on the land and growing food, and they come and take your, your ox and all that, the animals that you raise. Violently take it. Because you have no right. All right, next verse. At verse 34. Mm -hmm. And you shall be maddened. You shall be maddened. Because of the sight. Because of the sight. Which your eyes see. Because of what you see. Our people are mad today. And it's not like it was in the 40s and 50s and 30s. Back then, it was worse. Even in the 1800s, it was worse. They dared not to come out the house if a white man was around because they didn't want no trouble. They couldn't defend themselves. Even in the 30s and 40s. Boy. Remember nor did. Yeah, even in the 50s. We remember those signs around places. I remember signs white only. Blacks colors. or niggas. Say colors. Colors. Yeah. Here. You wanted a burger? You don't come to the front. You go around to the back. Yes, we do. And you get a burger about the size of this on a big old bun and tell you to appreciate what you got. That'd be two, three dollars or whatever it was back then. I can't remember. They treated us and they still treat us like dirt. And they would tell us we're not equal to them in their eyes. At a gas station, they tell you you couldn't use the bathroom in there. Yeah, you had to go in the woods. <laughs> our our children don't know these things. We do. We're not, they are not being taught. Yes. The same way in the books, the German. Black Holocaust. See, our people underwent Holocaust before the Jews did. They did. This is the history that they do not tell. Mm -hmm. Blacks was in concentration camps in Germany yes, when, the, when the Jews was there. And they were bought in. Mm -hmm. But you don't find that in history. And the Jews are not going to tell you that because you are beneath them. Mm -hmm. Oh, you probably think I'm teaching on hate. No, I'm teaching on facts and truth. Mm -hmm. There was mass graves, it said, of our people. How many white boys you know when the cops roll up on them, they shoot them? Or they put their knee in the neck and kill them? How many white boys? I saw the white man on the news had a rifle, was putting at the cops. Not one of them drew, and it was about 10 or 12 of them, not one of them drew their weapon. Mm. It's called white privilege. And it will be that way until Yahshua come back. Mm. I don't expect nothing out of white people. I don't hate white people, but I don't expect nothing out of them because they are who they are. Mm -hmm. They're wicked and evil that y'all is going to judge them for it. And you will know when you are being paid back. The scripture says, the measure that you measured out shall be measured unto you. You'll meet that. Yes. Verse 20 or 37. 34. Oh, what did you say? 34. Oh, we were reading, and you shall be maddened because of the sight. Yeah, we read that. I Next see. verse. At verse 35, Yah smite you in the knees. Yah smite you in the knees. 
And on the legs. On the legs. With evil boils. With evil boils. Which you are unable. Which you are unable. To be healed. To be healed. And from the sole of your foot. From the sole of your foot. To the top of your head. The top of your head. At verse 36. Uh-huh. Yah brings you. Yah brings you. In the sovereign whom. In the sovereign whom. You set over you. Who, whom you set over you. To a nation. To a nation. Which neither you. Which neither you. Nor your fathers have known. Nor your fathers have known. And there. And there. You shall serve others. There you shall serve others. Mighty ones. Mighty ones. Wood. Wood. And stone. You're going to serve. Y'all said you're going to a place that you did not know about, nor did your fathers know about. And these people, these this nation or nations that you're going to, you're going to serve. Their mighty one. Who's their mighty one? J S U S G O D. You're going to serve their religious belief. What is happening today? They're still serving mm -hmm. their, their mighty ones. Yah said, Come out, my people, from among them and be you separate. Take not on the ways of the Gentiles. But you choose to keep doing that. And because you choose to do that, Yah's judgment is going to come upon mm -hmm. you. And All right. All right, go ahead. Um, Let us go to uh, 41. Verse 41. Uh -huh. You bring forth sons and daughters. You bring forth sons and daughters. They are not with you. They are not with for you. They go into captivity. For they go into captivity too. That's uh, uh, 43. The sojourner. The sojourner. Who is among you who rises. Is who is among you. The stranger who is among you rises higher and higher higher and higher above you above you but you come down but you come down lower and lower, lower, and lower. the master is above you and the strangers that are with them but you come below all of them next verse he lends to you he lends to you but you do not lend to him. That's the way it is today. He lends to you. He lends to me. But we don't lend to him. He is the head. He is the head. And you are the tail. And you are the tail. He's above you. All right. Uh, yeah. At verse 45. Mm-hmm. And all these curses, and all these curses shall come upon you. They shall come upon you. And they shall pursue, and they shall pursue, and overtake you, and overtake you until you are destroyed. Until you are destroyed, dead. Because you did not. Because you did not obey the voice of Yah. You did not obey the voice of Yah. You obeyed the voice of your preacher. But you did not obey the voice of Yah. Your Elohim. Your Elohim. To guard. To guard. His commands. To guard his command. And his law. And his law which he commanded you. Which he commanded you. At verse 36. Mm -hmm. And they shall be upon you. And they shall be upon you. For a sign. For a sign. And for a wonder. And for a wonder. And on your side. And on your seed forever. forever, because of your disobedience unto Yah, even your seed is going to be mm -hmm. cursed. Let's go to 44, right? 48, right quick. Okay. okay you said adverse 48? Yeah. 
You shall serve your enemies. You shall serve your enemies. Whom Yah sends against you. Whom Yah sends against you. See, Yah planned this out. That's why we go through what we're going through. Yah said, you shall serve your enemies whom Yah sends against you. In hunger. In hunger. And in thirst. And in thirst. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. And in need and, of all. And in need of all. And he shall put a yoke. He shall put a yoke. You know, like you see the oxes where they control you. They shall put a yoke of iron, of iron on, your neck on your neck until he has destroyed until you. he has destroyed you. Who are you? And who stole your identity? Okay, uh, fifty. Verse fifty: A fierce looking nation. in this nation. There's a fierce looking nation. You ever look at the face of white men and some white women? I, I look at some white women, I call them stone faces. They got a fierce looking look on them. Watch them in the movies, on TV. When you turn it on, you see that same fierce looking that's in them. That, that's a fierce looking nation. Which shows no regard. Which shows no regard. They don't care about you. For the elderly. For the elderly. They don't care how old you are. Nor shows favor to the young. Nor shall, shows favor to the young. They don't care. I watched a video that saw two cops took a seven-year-old black girl and slammed her on the ground and put handcuffs on her. They don't care. This is a fierce looking nation, a fierce people who have no regard for the elderly or for, for the young. Now, I'm not saying all white people that way because they're not. They're not. But you got a lot of them. Hallelujah. At verse 51. Okay. Can you read that? Uh, let us go. I want to jump back over to. Um, let us jump over to uh, 58. That was 58. If you do not guard. See, we stop, we're jumping around for, a sake of, uh, for the sake of time. But I want you to read the whole chapter on your own. If you do not guard. And if you do not guard. To do all the words. To do all the words. Of this Torah. Of this Torah. That are written in this book. That are written in this book. To fear. To fear. This esteem. To fear this esteem. An awesome name. Of an awesome name. Yah. Yah. Your Elohim. Your Elohim. Now the King James Bible would probably read. That uh, if you do not guard to do all the words which of this Torah, I don't know if it would say Torah or the law, it probably say law, that are written in this book and the law, the law mm -hmm. and to fear this G L O R Y. Mm -hmm. If you notice, if you study your words, you'll find out that's a Greek deity. G-L-O-R-Y. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't mention that bell name. In the in the Hebrew or Hebrew, it's got esteem. You understand? They call him the L O R D I G O D. The L O R D that the awesome name of the L O R D G O D. He's two L O R D and the awesome G O D. Says the L O R D thy G O D. Thy G O D. How ridiculous is that? You bring the name of Yah to know. 
doesn't make sense. And you're going to pay for that. 59 says what? At verse 59, then Yah shall bring upon you. Then Yah shall bring upon you. And your descendants. And your descendants. Extraordinary plagues. You hear that? Extraordinary plagues. Mm. Help us, Yah. Great and lasting plagues. Great and lasting plagues. It's not, not something that's going to. Go away the next day. And grievous. And grievous. And lasting sickness. And is. grievous and lasting sickness. To the Israelites. They talking to the Israelites. Y'all is. Because why? They were. They are Yah's chosen people. He wants his chosen people. To worship him. When we worship Yah. We teach the world, the other nation, to worship Yah. You got people from other nations that are going to make it into the kingdom of Yah because they heed to the teachings of Yah. We are we are, are the only people on earth that are priests unto Yah. Yah said. They are Israelites, but yet they're not Israelites. Why? Because they don't obey the commandments of Yah. They don't keep the law of Yah. You are naturally born Israelites, but you're not Israelites. Like all the preachers up north, Jennings and all of them. Whoever's around, uh, Seymour Johnson and all the them, they are Israelites, but yet they're not Israelites because they were disobedient unto Yah. I'm talking about the preachers down here all over the nation who brings the name of Yah's name to know. You understand? And I'm talking about the Israel Hebrew Israelites who give them these phony names. They make up names. They make up names to what they say his name is. I saw an article uh, uh, last week where, uh, uh, what they call them uh, guys who dig uh, for bones and stuff? What they go? I think they're archaeologists. Archaeologists. That's what it was. He found a writing, a stone that was written, and it had the actual name of Yahweh. On it. He just found this. I forget what cave it was mm. or who it was, but he found the name of Yahweh that was written. Mm -hmm. So people can go around wanting to, the, the, to take on whatever the author, the white author of separate books and these other books. Um, I'm not being, I'm not going to be trained by a white man. Because the, our, our people are the priests of Yah. If you come with to me and you you have your edu education from a white preacher, which is not a preacher, because Yah never ordained them to be a preacher. He said for you not to boast if you were engrafted, not to boast upon what you have received. Mm -hmm. He said, you can be cut off from, you don't bear the root, but the vine, he can cut you off from the vine if you boast. But Yah said to the Israelites, you boast in the steam of the Gentiles. He told us to boast. But you don't have a right to boast. You're not a preacher. Y'all don't have different nationalities that are preachers. You make that stuff up. I see on YouTube now, they talk about, is it all right for a woman to preach and they use black women? Is it all right for them to preach? Why don't they let them preach? I tell you right now, no. A woman should not usher a party over a man. 
She's not a priest. You do what you want to do. It is your life. All of for all of eternity. Either you make it in or you make it to the, the lake of fire. The choice is yours. I choose to follow Yah's way. Keep his commandments and his mitzvah. Go down to verse number 64. At verse 64, and Yah shall scatter you among all people. Now, hold on. Trying to battle with the people over there that call themselves Jew. They can call themselves Jew. I'm not a Jew. I'm a Yehuda. I'm, I'm what Yah said I am. Not a Jew. I'm a Yehuda. We are Yehudas. My brother, you can call yourself whatever you want. I wouldn't want to be what those Jews guys over there claiming to be. You go ahead. That's the same as you claiming to be a Ku Klux Klan. I got me a white robe. Well, you're a Ku Klux Klan now, huh? Undisguised. Go to one of the meetings and see what happens. And y'all shall scatter you among all um, people. Among all, among all. See the word all. All people. From one end of the earth. Notice the word peoples is plural too. All the peoples. From one end of the earth. To the other. To the other end of the earth. And there you shall serve other mighty ones. And there you shall serve other mighty ones. Which neither you nor which, your fathers. Which neither you nor your fathers have known. Have known wood and stone. Wood and stone. Other mighty ones. That means you'll take on the teachings of the religion of these people. They're mighty ones. Some of them are, are, are Muslim. Muhammad was a white man. Our people seem to be drawn to white teachers than they do to black people. That's why you can't be drawn to Yeshua because he's not white enough. Hmm. You know, we were created in the image of Yah. Created him, them, male and female. The image of Yah tells me that Yah was a black man because the only man on earth during the time of his creation was Adam and Eve. If you go to the to the book in 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 Bereshit, Genesis, and you see the Tower of Babel, they were one people, one language, one nation. Until Yah separated them by language, not the color of the skin. So you had Chinese black people. Going out, you had Japanese, black people, whatever, French, Germans, Russian, that were black people, went into the lands that they chose to, to, to be at. They were one people, one language, and they were one belief. And y'all shall scatter you among all people from one end of the earth to the other. And that's the guy that started the Muslim. Yeah. Family. Yeah. The nation of Islam. He's the one that started, I think, what, 19. He started the nation of Islam. And you call yourself black Muslim. The father of your of the nation of Islam was white. Your Messiah, Yahshua, Hamashiach was a black man. Yah is black because we were made in his image. And there you shall serve other mighty ones, which neither you nor your fathers have known. 
wood and stone. 65 right quick. And among those nations. And among those nations. You are to find no rest. You, among those nations, you will not find no rest. Nor have a resting place. Nor have a resting place. For the soles of your feet. For the soles of your feet. But there, y'all. But there, y'all. Shall give you a trembling heart. Y'all will give you a trembling heart. And failing eyes. And failing eyes. And sorrow of being. And sorrow of being. We got three more scriptures. Okay, next one. And your life shall be hanging in suspense. And your life shall be hanging in suspense. Before you. Before you. You shall fear. And you shall fear. Day and night. You shall fear day and night. And not be certain of your life. And not be certain of your life. You wonder. I can't get a job, man. I, my life is it's ending. It's, it's in suspense. I don't know what I'm going to do. Y'all's going to allow this to come upon you because you're not serving them. We are blessed. We are blessed. And all of y'all's people are blessed. It doesn't start when we get to Jerusalem. It starts now. All right, next verse. At verse 67. Uh-huh. In the morning you say. In the morning you say. Oh. Oh, that it was were evening. You ain't never said that in the morning. You say, "Oh, I, I wish it was evening." And at evening, you say. And in the evening, you say, "Oh, oh, that it were morning." Now that now you wanted to be morning because the fear of your heart. Because of the fear of your heart, with which you fear, with, uh, uh, with which you fear. And because of the sight, and because of the sight which your eyes see, which your eyes see, you're fearful, you're like a leaf shaking in the tree when the wind blows. All right, and last verse, verse. 68. All right, and y'all shall bring you back, and y'all shall bring you back to Mitzrayim. He's gonna bring you back to Mitzrayim. Who was brought? In ships. Let me tell you something. A lot of people mess up on this verse of scripture. And they think the Jews are going around telling people, we're the ones that went left Egypt by a ship. You're a liar. The Israelites walked for 40 years in the wilderness. Y'all had them 40 years because their sins had started. He wanted the older ones to die off so that the younger ones can go that was 40 and younger uh, because Yehushua was 40 years old. And he led the children of Israel. Not even Moshe was allowed to go into the promised land because he struck the rock. He was disobedient unto Yah. Yah told him, speak to the rock. You think Yah is playing with you? If you don't keep his commandment in the Torah, Yah will destroy you. Even though Moshe was not destroyed, he said, I will allow you to see it, but you can't go in. You understand? He struck the rock instead of speaking to him. And Yehushua, which you call Joshua, led the children of Israel into the promised land. He said, and y'all shall bring you back to Mitzvah the Ram. remember when I was reading on this thing? Mitzvah the Ram is Egypt which means out of the house of slavery. He says, what? And, I, and y'all and shall, shall bring you back to Mitzrayim in ships. Y'all shall bring you back to Mitzrayim, the house of slavery, the house of slavery in, in ships. ships, 
What people went into slavery by ships. I'm telling you, this book is written to the Israelites. The clues that are given tell you who you are. So who stole your identity? The people in Israel today, they're the ones that stole your identity. By the help, they, when they was in America, they had slaves in the South. Mm -hmm. And they stole our identity with the help of America and Great Britain. Mm -hmm. America and Great Britain. Some of the biggest, the two biggest slave masters of all time. He said, you are never to see it again. You are, he says, bring you back to Mithraeum and ship by a way of which I say to you, I said to you, you are never to see it again. You are never to see it again. And there you shall be sold. And there you shall be sold. To your enemy. To your enemy. As male. As male. And female slaves. As male and female slaves. But no one to buy. But no one to buy. Meaning no slave can buy himself from that slavery. You understand? Yeah. So, Pastor, can I ask you a question? Ask me a question. It says right there, you were bought over by ships mm -hmm. back in the slavery of Mitzrayim. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you were going to be sold to your enemies mm -hmm. as male and female slaves mm -hmm. and no one to buy. Now, uh, what I want to ask you is this. You forgot the part too where it says... And, and uh, you are never to see it again. Right. You're never to see it again. Now, now, what I wanted to ask was this, or to say, so is it meaning, okay, there's a difference because all of the literature I have read about the Holocaust and everything that the Jews had ever went through for the few years, they had went through their bad times. None of them I have read have been bought over in ships, nor it's not documented any place, even in the archives, that they have been sold as male and female slaves. First of all, the Jews have never, they, they've been, they traveled on ships, but they weren't set by Yah no. as slaves. None of them were. When they, when they came in here, fact, when they was in Germany, uh, during the 1930s, Germany was the only country that gave them rights to mm -hmm. move and to do whatever they mm -hmm. want because the Jews were allies to the Germans mm -hmm. in World War I. And now when World War II came about, because the Jews stole a cut, uh, stabbed the, the Germans in the back mm -hmm. when they went to the Paris Peace Talk uh, on uh, uh, 19, uh, 1919, when the Belfort Declaration was signed mm -hmm. and the Germans wanted to know what was going on, and they said, you betrayed us. Mm -hmm. But Germany was the only country that allowed them to do whatever they wanted. They had the freedom. So when Hitler came up, Hitler could not trust the Jews no longer mm -hmm. because they figured the same thing might happen in World War II. Mm -hmm. So they put them in concentration camp. Mm -hmm. But even though they did that, according to this book, our people was hated by Germans worse than they was hated by the Jews. So what it means is that it says, you are never to see it again. Our people would die off as slave men and slave women. Mm -hmm. You are never to see Jerusalem again. The reason why we are 
or multi-generations past that. He said, I will visit the crookedness of the fathers upon the, the third and fourth generation. One, two, three, and four. He's going to visit the crookedness, the fathers who disobeyed Yah. And what happens when you stop? You don't obey Yah, it repeats. Those children. It repeats. Mm -hmm. It continues on. And those, that's why Yah said, only a remnant of Israel will be delivered. Because in that remnant of the Israelite people are those that heed to the teachings of Yah's word and obey the commandments and the laws of Yah, the Torah, and they guard it with their life. See, my friend, if you don't do that, you're not going to make it in. Be careful what these preachers are telling you. I tell you right now, get out of those churches. They may say they, they are not Christians, but they worship the same way the Christians do. Mm -hmm. They call on their mighty ones that they've learned, D-O-D, M-O-R-D, and J-E-S-U-S, the Christians. Get away from them. Seek Yah. Seek his, 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 his ways, his laws, his commandments. Go into prayer. Don't go to that church tomorrow morning, that wicked uh, synagogue of Satan. Don't go there. You'll be sorry because you'll get caught up even that much deeper. Seek a man of Yah. Email me. Contact me on my website. Don't let this go. And if I can help you to find a place that is close by in whatever you are, I will do that. I know a lot of you cannot come here or don't want to come here because it's too long of a distance, but I'll try to turn you on to somebody close by you so you can hear the word of God, the teachings of God. Uh, email me at truthinyahweh at gmail.com or you can go on the video of Yahweh's Tabernacle Assembly dot life. And down at the bottom of it, you can you can contact me there as well. Do that before it is too late. All right, my friend, we're going to end. I went longer than uh oh. Now, if you get a chance, I want you to contact this brother. The email address and everything is on here for you the contact. Oh, I don't have it on that. He's at P.O. Box 399. P.O. Box 399. Ojimbo. Ojimbo. Assembly of 037. Assembly of 037. At yahoo.com. At yahoo.com. That's his website. Give him a, he's in Kenya, Africa. He's from the tribe of Benjamin. Give him a call. Give him, email him. He would love to hear from you. Nyamora. Yeah, Nyamora. Mm -hmm. Just give him this brother, this pastor, a call. He has some young people in his assembly and, and talk with him. All right? Pray for him as well. Pray for us. Until the next time, we say unto you, as we always say, most gracious and eternal about, bless us, almighty God. Bless the ears that hear and the eyes that see. Let this word go forth to the many people that they may hear the truth of Yah's word before it is too late. We ask you, Father Yah, in Yahshua HaMashiach's name, and we'll give all praise and honor unto you in Yahweh's name. We say, Toda Yah, Toda Yah, and Toda Yah. And the next time I say, Shabbat Shalom, Toda Yah, Toda Yah, and Toda Yah. Messed up, I'm sorry.